you already defined kind of a little bit what liberal nationalism means or what liberalism means, but you also have nationalism as one of the main concepts for your book. And how, how do you define that for as a book and maybe also contrasting it with potentially how people in the South were seeing nationalism during this period? Sure. For me, I think I use a very kind of basic definition of nationalism. So a certain group of people in a certain territory who are actively working to implement a certain government over that people and territory. And in particular, I think when I talk about nationalism, one of the keys there is that these people are trying to create that nation, trying to create their vision of nationalism. So it's an active idea, not just a passive idea. Now, my sources aren't necessarily talking about nationalism in those same ways. What I really found my sources talking about as they're advancing these international definitions of their nationhood, they're really focusing more on republicanism was a big one. So, of course, the idea that the people are in charge of government and government exists to protect the people's rights, that was, of course, the founding ideal of the American nation and still very resonant in the 19th century. And I really saw republicanism emerging as the standard of good government, according to these white Southerners. But of course, these white Southerners are slaveholders, so they're only going to go so far with this idea of self-government and government protecting rights. So they temper that republicanism with what they call social order and social hierarchy, which basically were stand-ins for racial order racial hierarchy, white supremacy, and slavery. So what we really see is these white Southerners are actually using their analysis of the European nationalist movements to say, okay, the revolutions that support republicanism, those are good, those are appropriate. The ones who are trying to create social equality, that's bad, that violates social order. And so those are really kind of the key terms that they use to try and really on some level reconcile American nationalism, the liberal nationalism that's spreading throughout the Atlantic world in the 19th century to take this nationalism and reconcile it with slavery, which doesn't fit. And increasingly outside the South, the Atlantic world recognized it didn't fit with liberal nationalism by the middle of the 19th century.